Hey everybody, it's Stephen Get Money Meyer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of the money I have been making. That's right, it's Get Money Meyer back in business in the auction house and some of the secrets I'm using. And by secrets, I mean they're things you all know about already. But I'm gonna take a moment to gently remind you of where we're at as far as making money and doing productive things within the auction house. Now, the majority of this video is going to be me talking about contract gems and how I think they're undervalued in relationship to the value they bring to starry gems. Because as many of you may or may not be aware, you know, there's two resources in the game. There's starry gems and there's contract gems. And you obviously can only purchase with real money starry gems, but you can use contract gems for all sorts of things within the game. And every hero within the game has an innate built-in value in contract gems. You know, if you go up here to the Soul Temple and you go into Hero Retirement, you can see, you know, how many contract gems it is worth retiring a certain hero. And so you can see that retiring a C minus hero, for example, is worth a hundred contract gems. And you're probably aware that heroes sell on the auction house for less in starry gems than what the retirement cost is in contract gems. In fact, they sell for so much less, I decided to do an experiment and see what their current value is worth. And what I like to do is I'll come in here and I'll put in something like 85 star gems as a bidding price uh, for a hero. And that's like the most it's gonna be worth bidding for right now. And a C minus hero is going to be able to retire for a hundred star gems. You can also click on this awaken tier button and it will show you the more recently ending ones coming up. It's a way to sort by uh, ending soonest uh, if you have just one awaken tier selected. And so you can see this C minus uh, Scarlet Queen Alora is worth 81 star gems bidding and this Rogan is 62. And if you were able to successfully bid on these heroes and win them, you know, you would be able to go and retire them for 100 contract gems. And I know what you're thinking. Money, you know, they get around 100 at the end. Contract gems are worth less than star gems. Why do I care? Well, the reason you should care is if you look at my transactions here, you can see I've gotten some C minus heroes for way, way less than the 100 uh, star gems it costs in order to purchase them, which means I'm able to get value out of my starry gems and get a, a lot more value of them by converting them to contract gems. The value difference is so great, I decided to make a chart of all the heroes I can get for less than their retirement cost in contract gems. And you can see I've gotten some really good deals like 57 starry gems for 100 contract gems, you know, 52 starry gems for 100 contract gems. And in total, this is only over a 24 hour period, how many auctions I was able to win. I will say this is a week where there's an awakening event, so supply is very high and demand uh, supply of starry gems is probably low and demand is probably constant and supply of heroes is really high. So I'm getting some very good deals out of this, but you can see I was paying 1,184 starry gems and the retirement conversion of them is 1,650 contract gems or basically a 39% increase in value. Uh, a $50 in starry gems if you buy a pack would be only cost you $36 in contract gems, which is a very, very substantial difference. Now, I'm not an idiot. I know that starry gems are more valuable than contract gems, right? They can be used for purchasing heroes. But a lot of people, and I'm saying a lot, but a lot of people, I think, are getting to a point where they might have C, C plus heroes, maybe a B minus, and they are really starting to struggle with the increase in cost of actually purchasing like a B, B plus, A, a minus hero. Like that is far out of the realm of possibility for them. But contract gems still have a very important use within the game. One of those uses I want to remind everybody of is the Star Gem Mall. You can see if you come in here into Cool Events in Star Gem Mall, you can straight up convert your contract gems into items like skin selection chests for the Cloud Island. Or another great one, you can get five luxury cloud island chests. So basically 500,000 of any resource you want for 250 contract gems. And these are all good deals, especially if you do have C plus, B minus heroes and getting to the next level is pretty difficult. Like getting these skin chests and everything is extremely helpful. Another area where contract gems are really helpful is the event packs that are available every single week. I mean, you can go out, you can buy $100 in starry gems, convert them all to contract gems, and then you could buy one of these packs, like a $100 pack, and have a ton of contract gems left over. So you're basically getting the event package for, I don't know, $65 worth of stuff, and you'll have $35 worth of contract gems left over, which is, you know, enough to buy like four of those luxury Cloud Island chests that we were looking at earlier. So 
this conversion rate is very beneficial to us right now. I mean, I expect that as I'm making this video and you guys see these differences, people are going to start to consider contract gyms being more helpful. The final area where contract gyms are really important is obviously, you know, the soul awakening we, events we get. Like if you want to get this chest, you have to do X number of awakenings. I think it's around, you know, 20, 21, 22 awakenings. And if you're able to slowly build up your income and resources to complete these events, like these are very real rewards that you're getting. Uh, that you know it doesn't the event doesn't care whether you start gems or contract gems you have to do this many summons in order to get you know these prizes and so you're able to get a lot more bang for your buck out of those contract gems i think this is something everybody's aware of you know that heroes go for less uh in the auction house than what their value is in star gems obviously if you've ever tried to sell a c minus hero and just list it for 100 uh starry gems in the auction house and it doesn't sell you're like what the heck you know, it's because there is a discrepancy in the worth of starry gems and contract gems. But right now, there's a really big disconnect between that. You know, the fact that I'm able to get stuff for 57, 58 starry gems and then convert it to 100 contract gems, it's just foolish of me to actually go out, spend $50, and buy this skin pack from the starry gem mall when I could spend some time, spend some effort into converting it. I will say, you know, all those transactions I did were me not trying very hard all in a 24 hour period. Obviously I got lucky with some snipes, the more value you put on it, you know, you can be more patient and wait for lower cost in uh, starry gems. Like maybe you only bid when it's 60 or less, for example, but it's basically a way of correcting the market price on this income that again, you know, I think there's a very real value to the starry gem mall. There's a very real value to being able to complete events by buying event packages and there's an extremely real value in order to complete complete these like soul awakening galas and uh get everything here to get these sublimation mats so i just want to make everybody aware of this like i said i go in i'll, I'll look up you know 100 150 200 is what c minus c and c plus are worth i'll filter and i'll put in a price range so i only see ones that are above what i'm willing to pay and then that sorting by awakening tier will sort it by the uh, hero that is ending the soonest. So that will help you find ones that you can pounce on that like you'll get pretty quickly and get rewarded pretty quickly. Hopefully I didn't just ruin this for me if I wanna keep doing this in the future. Uh, but I definitely wanted to call this out and make everybody aware of it because I just think some people are sleeping on the value of contract gems and what kind of deals are out there on the action house. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye.